Hey guys, happy Thursday! Today is Thursday, January 31st, last day of January, what? <laughs> and I'm back with more Beatly singings. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing so wonderful, and I hope you are too, because I'm back and you can finish me for one more week. That was a very fast intro today. Before I start the video, I want to thank everyone who commented on my last video, um, talking about suggestions and ideas for the Beatles Club. I'll keep you guys updated, but I think it's going to take a while. Might take a month or so, maybe a little bit less. I actually want to thank Psyche very much for giving me the idea for this video topic. It's not really a topic, it's just... Just a thought. I was on Facebook the other day, and the Beatles Fest official webpage on Facebook um, posted that Peter Noon, the lead singer of Herman's Hermits, is gonna be there. At Beatle Fest. They just kept posting like Herman's Hermits songs, right? And one of them was Henry VIII I Am, which I have in my head for so long. After clicking that video, I got in the 60s part of YouTube. 60s part of YouTube is when you're stuck on videos that are 60s related. Um, I was actually stuck in the Ed Sullivan. Ed Sullivan. Ed Sullivan! <laughs> Me, Harry McAfee, appearing with Ed Sullivan. Ed. Jamie, Jamie gets it. They had like very short clips, like 30 second clips of like Sonny and Cher, um, obviously Herman's Hermits, The Beatles. There was some. Oh, CCR. It was great. And then on Facebook, I was actually talking to Psyche and we just kept talking about the nostalgia we get of watching 60s videos. If you think about it, that is incredibly weird for someone our age. Nostalgia is a sentimental longing and wistful affection for the past, typically for a period of place with happy personal associations. The last part is what makes our nostalgia weird. We, we were never born there. We, we were never there. Um, my parents were born in the very last of the 60s. They don't remember anything, they don't talk to me about it. My grandma, I don't talk to her much because he's in back in Mexico and she's older and I, I don't know how I get nostalgia if I have no personal connection connection whatsoever with the 60s. Besides liking the Beatles, that is it. I mean, sure, I've watched some YouTube videos in the past of the 60s and do I get nostalgia from that? It's, it's not that. I get nostalgia, but looking at the people, it feels familiar. Never been there, but it feels so familiar. I had this warm feeling and it made me really sad. I actually got kind of emotional at one point. And then Psyche told me that she felt the same way. That she felt this connection by watching old videos that had nothing to do with us. And I kept thinking about it even deeper. And I realized that we are pretty much missing, missing out our generation for being so stuck up in the 60s. Seriously, just imagine having your children and then they ask you, so how was your childhood? How was 2010s? And you're like, I have no idea. I'm pretty much clueless. I, I listen to music that's like 80 years older than you. Sadly for liking the Beatles and everything, we don't really have that much nostalgic moments as we would if we like any other modern pop star. We're not gonna remember the one time when the Beatles came to America because we were not here. My eyes got really big and really scary, I am sorry. In a way, it is pretty sad that we are wasting our generation by listening to some older generation, but at the same time, personally, it's worth it. I don't want to be stuck in this generation. I don't want to tell my kids that I like insert pop star name here that I fangirl about this pop star that's gonna be no one I know I won't be ashamed of saying I'm obsessed with the Beatles five years from now I know this video is really not going anywhere it's just me expressing my opinion it's so and you know it's true since we weren't really part of the 60s we only see the positive side of the 60s I know there's Tons of negative side. The Vietnam War, civil rights, Cold War. We as youngsters don't really think about it much. We only think of the music and the lifestyle. I mean, the 60s were revolutionary. And I personally wanted to be part of it. I would love to have been part of it. I would love to be 70 years old right now, live without internet my whole life until now. 
but at least I could be able to say I live there. No, this isn't really Beatles related, but it, it's just something that's been on my mind. So those are my opinions on just living in the past. I am a person, even in my present life, I always live in the past. I cannot let things go. What do you guys think? Would you guys um, have liked to live in the 60s like me? Or do you guys prefer this decade where internet, where you can actually talk to people like the Beatles just everywhere around the world and listen to their music and just have everything in your pocket? I like how this video pretty much just went nowhere, but I hope you guys enjoyed it still. And Submariners, what do you guys think? I actually want to know your opinions. Maybe you can make a better video on this. It's not that hard, huh? 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 But thank you guys for letting me ramble on and on about the 60s. Hopefully you found it relatable and see you guys next Thursday.